What's up, glorious people? How's everybody doing? Guys, as you can see from the title, what we're going to be talking about today is... Um, hang on, let me go check exactly when it happened. Um, I want to say a good maybe four hours ago. It happened five hours ago. I almost got it right. But yeah, we're going to be talking about that the Lions signed Jared Goff to a four-year, $212 million extension. Now, we're going to be taking a look at what that extension means for Jared Goff and the um, and the Detroit Lions. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get some of Jared Goff's uh, stats pulled up. Uh, all right there we go okay so we got jared goss uh career stats pull up and we're going to be breaking down the contract all right let's get into it first we are going to be breaking down the contract i will go ahead and share the screen with you guys on that one so what we're looking at here is a source Lions uh, signed a quarterback, Jared Goff, to a four year, $212 million extension. It says the Detroit Lions are signing Jer- quarterback Jared Goff uh, to a four year, $212 million contract extension that includes $170 million guaranteed. Source tells ESPN's Adam Scheffner on Monday. The deal makes the 2016 number one overall pick the highest paid player in franchise history. Holy shit. So he's the highest paid uh, Detroit Lion. That is insane. The $53 million average annual salary and golf's news and golf's new D, uh, deal makes him the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL behind only the Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow at $55 million. Detroit has now rewarded three uh, three of its star players this offseason with a $444 million in contract extension to golf wide receiver Amari St. Brown and offensive tackle Panay Sewell. I feel, like, I feel like every single one of them signings were massive, though. You know what I'm saying? Um All right, um, I didn't get into the whole Amari St. Brown thing. I'm not sure if I made a video on it or not, but yeah, so it's pretty crazy that Joe Burrow, I mean, Jared Goff is now the highest paid player in franchise history, and he's only he's the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL, only behind Cincinnati Bengals' Joe Burrow. That's pretty interesting to think about. Uh, Jared Goff, he's 29. Last season, he threw for 4,575 yards with 30 touchdowns and only 12 interceptions. That's pretty insane. So, yeah. So, with that being said, and us now, now knowing what we're working with here, let's take a look over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get pulled up over here. Hang on, guys. Jared Goff stats. All right. Let me exit it off of there and share this screen to you. All right. Jared Goff stats. So this is what we're looking at here. So what we're looking at here is... Jared Goss, full stats over his career. So in 2016, he was drafted in 2016 with the Rams. He uh, can, he completed 54.6% of his passes. He had 1,089 yards, five touchdowns, and seven interceptions. His second season in 2017 with the Rams. He had a 62.1% completion percentage 3,804 yards 28 touchdowns and seven interceptions 
in 2018 with the D, I mean, with the Los Angeles Rams. He had 64.9 percent of completion, 4,688 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. In 2019 with the Rams, he had 62.9 percent completion percentage, 4,638 com- yards. 22 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. In 2020, his last season with the Rams, he had a completion percentage of 67. He had 3,952 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. In 2021, his first year with the Lions, he had a completion percentage of 67.2%, 3,245 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. He, in 2022, he had 65.1% completion percentage, 4,438 yards, 29 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. And in 2023, he had 67.3 completion percentage, 4,575 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. Now, I know that you're looking at these stats with me and you're going, my God, in 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2023, he had over 10 interceptions and he was in the double digits. Okay, I understand where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. But hear me out here, all right? Jared Goff is only 29. He had an outstanding year. With the Detroit Lions, if you if you want me to be honest with you, I think they should have beat the 49ers to make the Super Bowl. I really do. I think I think Detroit should have been the one representing the AFC, I mean the NFC in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. They they beat the Kansas City Chiefs in week one as well. May I remind you? Um so you know. I, I don't know. I, I can see where you guys are coming from. Yeah, he's had multiple seasons with with over, you know, double-digit interceptions. Um, he also is 29, so 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. He's going to be like 33, almost 34 by the time his contract's up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I would have been willing to give a – that owed of a quarterback and um, that much money. <clears throat> but in this day of age, I feel like when you have a good quarterback, you have to roll with it because you don't know how the other quarterbacks coming in are going to go. Example being New England. Uh, we haven't had a good quarterback since Tom Brady, and that was about three or four seasons ago when he left us to go to Tampa Bay. Actually, that was way before that at, it's been almost about five, six seasons ago since he left us, and we haven't had a good quarterback since him. So if you have a good quarterback, you need to do everything in your role power to keep him. And I feel like that's what Detroit did here. They were like, all right, we are going to do anything to secure you, Jared Goff, because we have 100% faith in him. And I feel like with the way that we've seen Jared Goff play, that's very fair of Detroit to do. That's very, very fair of Detroit to do, to have that much trust in Jared Goff because his three seasons that he's been over there in Detroit now, he has been great. I feel like Dan Campbell has done nothing but let a fire under him, and I feel like Jared Goff is going to have another great season this season. So, um, yeah, I feel like, I feel like with that, you're going to try to do anything and everything to keep – a quarterback locked under um, contract. Um, you know, I, I just got a few few iffy things about it. Um, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much my take on it. I, 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 you know, outside of the few iffy things on it, I think it's overall a very solid signing for the um, Detroit Lions. And... Uh, yeah, I think Detroit's just trying to secure a playoff spot again, and that's pretty much what they did with shutting down Jared Goff, you know, signing him to a big contract. So um, <clears throat> we now know why Detroit did not even try to attempt to target a wide receiver, I mean, a quarterback in this year's draft. 
Um, you know, I I know that Dan Campbell came out and kept on saying Jared Goff's our guy, Jared Goff's our guy, but you kept on hearing the rumors about could we see Detroit trying to take a a quarterback in this year's draft? Could we see them move up to take a quarterback in this year's draft? Blah this, blah that. <clears throat> None of that happened. They stuck it out and they got their guy. Um, but anyways, with that being said, guys, let me know down in the comments below how you feel about the signing. Do you think it was a good one? Do you think Jared Goff can be trusted? Um, you know, I, I think at this point he can be trusted. I think he's only going to get better. Dan Campbell's a hell of a coach. Um, but, yeah, anyways, guys, until the next video, I'm out of here. Peace. Love you all. I'll see you Friday. Friday, I think, for the podcast. Till then, I'm out. Peace.